everyone and thank you so much for coming back and joining me and if you're new to my channel wished upon a vlog thanks very much for coming along and you're really welcome to be here so this evening i am going to be reacting to the new trailer that sony have brought out called morbius now i am a massive fan of marvel so of course i'm really excited to watch this trailer now haven't seen it yet so this is going to be my live reaction but what i will say is i haven't actually read comics about this specific character but because i am obsessed with marvel i do enjoy you know reading up about different characters and everything and i know that he is a villain and that his name's michael and basically that he was about to die this is from what i can remember you can correct me if i'm wrong but basically he was about to die and they didn't have enough time to do the you know the the proper amount of research and uh, to save his life they were running out of time and they used like a fun pair bat and from what I remember also is that Blade apparently him and Blade Morbius and Blade um had like some sort of feud going on as well um which it which is cool because I absolutely love Blade I I used to own all three but then I threw uh, Blade Trinity in the bin because it was trash, utter trash. Ryan Reynolds was in that one. It was awful. No wonder Wesley Snipes hated it. But I proudly am the owner of Blade and Blade 2 and I am obsessed with Wesley Snipes. To me, no one else will ever play Blade like Wesley Snipes. But anyways, that's literally all I know in all genuine honesty. Um, but, you know, I do love doing research on Marvel characters in general, so that's all the knowledge I know. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see what I personally think of this trailer. Here we go. Michael, I've known you since you were a child. Please. You have a gift. You always have. If there's an answer to your disease, you'll find it. I should have died years ago. No. Why am I still here if not to fix this? I have a rare blood disease, and I'm running out of time. This could be my last chance. You're up to something, what is it? That's not exactly legal. I want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. Until the remedy. <laughs> is worse than the disease. Ah! What the freak? Oh, that is brilliant. Brilliant. Do you know what? Okay. Morbius. Michael Moore. Oh. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing. Huh? What's up, Doc? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Look at well, what? Michael Keaton? Batman? Batman, is it the end? What? So we're okay, 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 okay. Right, what are they, what are, what are they doing to us then? So we've got Fulcher uh, turning up at the end, AKA Michael Keaton, AKA like him and Christian Bale are my two favorite Batmans. But if I had to pick, I would have to pick Michael Keaton. 
But the thing is, is he's showing up at the end, at the very end of this trailer. Like I thought it was over, and then like the like because the screen went black, and then they brought up like that, and it was him. It was Fulcher. So obviously Fulcher is obviously in this, but here's where I'm thinking is they left it to the end of the trailer and I'm wondering are they doing this as like a kind of a like a to get us hyped like oh we're going to go and see this movie with Fulcher but I'm wondering could this maybe be maybe like him showing up at the end or something or like on an end credit scene I could be completely wrong but there's a small chance of me that's thinking that although I could be completely way off base here I could be but see at the end um, okay, so we're having Jared Leto as a freaking vampire. Um, and we, when you've seen um, Morbius at the very end. Now, I, I'm going to have to go and look at pictures just to make sure I could be completely wrong. But from what I can remember from, uh, you know, sort of like doing research and stuff and watching sort of um, lore on different char Marvel characters, um, Morbius was one that I can remember watching quite a few videos on, to to be honest. Um, I do watch a lot of lore videos for DC, Marvel, Star Wars, and a lot of things, you know, that I'm, that I'm interested in. And um, uh, I can remember definitely um, putting Morbius ones into playlists because I find them pretty interesting, to be honest. But from what I can remember, um, I watched a couple of videos on just a bit of back history about, about his character. And from what I can remember uh, from the picture of Morbius, the comic book version, I actually think Jared Leto is very, very well casted for this. And actually, I think he, uh, look-wise, they have definitely casted well. And I will be perfectly honest, I have seen Suicide Squad. Um, I didn't like the movie um i didn't like his um depiction or whatever you want to call it of joker i do understand some people did and i've nothing against anybody who did like his portrayal of joker but i don't think that he was at fault as to how his character came came out um uh, it was a whole production thing whole whole direct just you know i'm not just blaming um you know uh, Jared Leto, but you know I kind of felt sorry for him because you know it just it didn't work out for the dude it really didn't I also think Will Smith was a terrible casting choice mm, Birds of Prey for next next month um I probably will go and see but I'm not going to go, go out of my way to go and see guys I do think it looks like fun but it could just be the trailers showing the best bits it could be fun I don't really know um but one thing I will say with Jared Leto is now he was in the movie that I love with Christian Bale aka Batman uh, American Psycho. Now, I wasn't really in it that long at all. Um, spoiler alert for a movie that's like 20 years old, but two decades old. But he was uh, good in that movie. He was fine. But one movie that this dude was fantabulous in, amazing, brilliant in as an actor, is Blade Runner 2049. That movie is outstanding. And of course, it has, you know, my awesome Han Solo in it, Harrison Ford. Um, and of course he did a, a brilliant performance as well but I am actually a, you know what I haven't really ever seen him in of anything else really so I think this could be a good redemption for him and you know obviously he had, from from the articles that I had read I think I did a video about it months ago pretty sure I did he was upset that you know his joker was going to be no more and he was fairly upset about it like the dude really was not happy about it but now, in a Marvel movie, I think that this could be really good redemption for him because I think going from the look of this, even though I didn't like him in Suicide Squad, um, I have to be honest and say what I see. And from what I see, he looks like he sits who he's been cast as. And I think he's going to sit playing Morbius. I really do. Um, it's interesting to see how we're going to tie this whole uh, vulture into this. That's going to be interesting for me. You know, I'm coming into this just watching some lore videos and reading up information about it. Um, you know, in the past, I am only that I hope that I am correct in what I have said because I'm only going on what I can remember because you know I, I I read a lot about a lot of different characters in Marvel and DC. Um, but yeah, I it kind of has sort of like a similar sort of um. What, what kind of had going on with the layout of sort of Venom in, in ways. Um, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign. And also, as I was saying, I don't know if you could hear me sometimes with the trailer, with the music, it's hard to kind of hear me. But basically, I love dark and gritty movies, and especially when they're done right. Like, for example, The Crow, which I did a review on for one of my uh, Retro Fridays, which if anybody's new, every Friday I come on and I review an old movie, and it's called Retro Fridays. And one of the weeks I actually done The Crow. 
and dark and gritty movies I love and if they're done right hats off and this of course looks like a very dark um, and gritty movie uh, that we that we have going on so if it goes along the lines as well of sort of like you know Tom Hardy's uh, Venom movie um, then great I think it looks interesting I think it looks interesting I'm really excited to see what's what's going to happen with this and I think I'm really pulling for Jared Leto I really am because I think it could be a great redemption for him you know um, and as I say if, I haven't really seen him anything else look I tell you what if anybody knows of any other thing that he's been in apart from Blade Runner 2049 that he's fantastic acting wise in let me know because aside from that in American Psycho I can't really remember anything else but also one thing I will say is he was actually, he's in a band called 30 Seconds to Mars and I actually love about three or four of their songs that I've heard. I haven't heard all of their songs, but type into YouTube if you're interested. It's a song called From Yesterday and that's my favourite of theirs. Um, but type in extended version and there's an extended version of that music video and damn wow officially stunning and you really really do need to watch it but fizzles for this trailer looked top notch oh my gosh and the the purples are like going on and everything oh my gosh this looks amazing i think spot on casting wise i think um because i don't think suicide squad was well cast I'm, I'm i'm really sorry and i think this could be great i think this could be great uh but one thing i will say is i just can't wait to see uh the next trailer i do think it looks very very interesting and i do feel that there's like seems to be a lot of potential there um so yeah going from what the small information that i knew about this character was pretty much within this trailer of the story of his character um which was which i was really happy to see <laughs> But yeah, thanks very much for coming along and watching and this looks brilliant I think. So top marks from me, it's a positive video from me instead of a rant video from me. So thanks so much for watching and until my next video, don't forget that the Force will be with you always because it seems as though the Force may very well be with Jared Leto when he plays Morbius in this movie. So I look forward to seeing it. It is coming out, let me see here guys. I got that excited, I didn't even... Um, did it even say at the end? Let me just check here, guys. And it just said in theater summer. Okay. So, did it come up at any point through like the trailer? You know what, guys? You might just have to let me know below because let me just double check again. Hold on. Okay. And then Fulcher showed up. It's just saying summer. Surely there's a release date. Well, anyways, in the summer. So, yeah, that's a good time for, for the, the like of this to come out. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, I will speak to you soon. See you down in the comments. Bye, guys. Bye.